UK is the beginning of March and I'm fortunate to have my good mate Rod out with me. He's an absolute mudjack aficionado. Uh, he's fronted with me many times and he's always after the elusive, big, mature book. Old one. You really love those, don't you? Yeah, yeah. He had an absolute cracker with us last year when he shot a, a lovely gold medal freak uh, and I'm trying to get him something that I think he'll really like this year. I've got a really nice old book behind us in this wood. Uh, I've sat with him for clients before now, three or four times with a German a few weeks ago and we, he was a no-show. Uh, on our cameras he looks like he's coming in the day but uh, he's a real tricky book so uh, we're going to have to be patient. It might take us three or four hours to get him so uh, do our best mate. It's early enough, it's half past three time, it's not dark till half past six time so we've got quite a wait. Uh, let all the wood settle down and uh, you want to give it a go? It. No bother at all, come on. Up, mate. That's the way to do it. Give us a smile. <laughs> well, <laughs> we came to the woods about an hour ago. Rob managed to call one himself earlier on, didn't get it on film. And we're going to sit for a big book later on, but so we just sort of have half an hour to have a play around and um, spotted these I don't know, 150 200 yards away. Did a little call, but I think they were more um, getting out of the place than actually coming to the call. Made it to some cover, we got ourselves in a position and managed to call it back. So we shot ourselves a good doubt, Rodney. There you go. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> I do love it when he comes, and he's a great shot. <laughs> Just what we needed, a dough in the bag. Looking for the thing. No, you was just round the corner from you, and um, I, I was a little bit further, oh, a little bit further out, so I could see her, and you couldn't, obviously. So she comes stepping, stepping, stepping. So I just kept peeping her, and uh, well, that's what we got. So uh, great shot, mate. What was it? 60, 60, 70 meters, and she's uh, on the spot. Oh, well done mate, another dough in the bag, that's awesome, thank you very much indeed. There you go, shaking hands, <laughs> Right then, we'll get that back to the truck, grill it, and we'll get back up a seat.
blood sitting to my right hand side and uh, although I can see the book quite clearly and I'm filming it on the left hand side of the high seat, Rod shooting off the right hand corner and that's giving him a yard difference in shot which he's got obviously a different picture to me completely so uh, he's just hanging on till it presents a shot. Got him. Yeah. It was angled to me. Yeah. I'm not happy with that shot. Oh, oh. Ten minutes of excitement now. I'm not happy with that shot. Uh, you're not happy with that shot. He's took a he's took a hit anyway. Oh, it's dink. Uh, I was I was going to neck shoot, and I thought uh, you'll kill me if I neck shoot. Well, it's your trophy. <laughs> I'm sure Gary could put a, <laughs> a plug in it. Well, I'll tell you what, that's been a long old wait. Um, I've probably done four or five sits for this book. Uh, no show. On camera, he arrives ten minutes after we've left, or he comes at midnight. And he's turned up tonight with another book that we've never even seen before, so that's the fun of stalking. Um, He's a really cracking trophy and I'm really pleased for my mate um, Rod, who's a munchak aficionado, uh, to say the least. Um, puts me under pressure every year to try and get him a decent book and, uh, well, looks like we've got a decent book so we're going to give it a minute because the, uh, the shot was into reasonably thick cover. It wasn't the reaction that neither of us expected so um, he may have to follow it up with a dog but I'm pretty sure that hit him in the... Uh, a little bit back probably but um, in some part of the engine room so we'll, we'll give it five and we'll go and have a look. I reckon it was about here right where we've whacked him. There he is, he's through there mate. Can you see him? Yeah. I'll try and zoom in on him. I haven't got much light. There he is, laid there. Let me just look through the binos. Yeah, he's dead mate. Absolute cracker, mate. <laughs> the long wait. <laughs> well, a disappointing morning, but what a great evening. We had two days come and visit it, and, uh, and then a young buck appeared, and then surely right behind him was this absolute cracker. Absolute, look how wide he is, Rod. Absolute beautiful book. That's, That's superb. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. He can still get his nashes. I know. Beautiful book. I know I know you like your books. Oh, he's only got on one side. But um, yeah, I say we've had him on camera, but he's so been so shy and I've left him a few weeks and um, put some beans and carrots out this time and uh, but he did, he wasn't even on the food was he? He was watching yeah. that young book and uh, Kick, tried to kick him off a little bit, then he just stood and watched him. We were running out of light, and then Rod fell over. Look, <laughs> and uh, got fantastic, oh, lovely book. Uh, 